Hey guys, this is DShack Tech, and today is another retro video of Apple's PowerBook 5300 from 1995. Let's get started. The PowerBook 5300 was the first generation of PowerBook laptops manufactured by Apple to use the PowerPC processor. Released in 1995, they are notable for being the first to feature hot swappable expansion modules for a variety of different units such as zip drives and an infrared communication port. Designed to be as small as possible, it did away with the CD-ROM drive and featured a more compact but less curvy design, like what you see on the MacBook Air today. It also featured a new battery pack that came outside which connected to a wire and actual to the socket in the wall. The OS running on this system is 7.5.2 way before the time of OS X and Unix. It's sort of fun to navigate through to see how much more basic things were just 15 years ago. On this PC, I have Microsoft 5.0. This was before the time of iWork and iLife, so I had to use Microsoft. Um, I don't really know the relationship between 5.0 Microsoft and what it is today, but it was quite ancient for the time. Um, this screen re resolution is in color, and it came up to a 640x40 pixel passive matrix color LCD on a 10.4 inch display. The CPU crawls in at about 100 megahertz and has a standard RAM of 8 megabytes as well. The retail price for this machine was about $2,900 at the time. With its release came its inherent problems right away. There were reports of cracked cases and overheating batteries that actually led to a fire. All this led to the product being cited as amongst the worst of Apple products of all time. Now, I myself have never had to deal with any of these problems before, but I would never have known of these problems if I had not done the research beforehand. There you have it, another retro video featuring my PowerBook 5300 from Apple, um, released in 1995. Hope you guys like it. Um, comment your thoughts down in the comment sections below. Um, check out my other videos on my channel for more retro videos and Apple news and rumors. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Um, follow me on Game Center, G, G Shack 11, and that is it. Thanks for watching.